Hello everybody, and wow, this is going to be an awkward intro, because this is post-commentary. But welcome to the greatest Let's Play ever. A amazing, in-depth, deep, sad, happy, joyful, all kinds of emotions game known as Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. I say this because this is the heartwarming tale of a great shinobi warrior that once became a ghost truck, and um... Well, he died and became a ghost truck, but and before we begin, I will have to say that I will have to change my recording setup because this was such a pain in the ass to actually set up perfectly, and I was just saying that um, on this particular part here, it's like, oh, the blue equals water, the fire equals fire, this somehow equals earth, but I think that our character was a shinobi of the wind, and from the bull there has got wind downside of the truck on the paint job so we're going to be we're going to be starting there but i will talk about recording issues with this <laughs> this beautiful game so obviously it's a very unfinished game and it's one that doesn't like to be recorded and you know ghost truck gets very nervous because his game was never finished and he had a lot of stress as a shinobi he actually died as a shinobi as you know because he died and then became a truck and then died again and come back as a ghost truck so he has a lot of he has a lot of stress cooped up inside of him he's got performance issues because his game's unfinished ghost truck gets very nervous all right so he knows that you're all watching, he knows that all of YouTube are watching him, he knows that I'm commentating about him. He's very scared, so as you can see, he, he's a little bit jittery, he's a little bit nervous. He does, he does shake a little bit, he's got a little bit of a shake because of all of the post-traumatic stress and all of the people watching him and with, like, performance issues. So, you know, he's, he's a little bit shaky, but you know what, Ghost Truck, you just have a drink while we finish off, um... Just back up a bit. You you have yourself a beer, have yourself a cider, have yourself some vodka, whatever's whatever is your pick. Although it seems you're a shinobi warrior, I imagine Saki, so go to ye old pub. Ye old public bar, I think that says. And have you have yourself some Saki. Well, we can we finish off our explanation. So yes, this took really long to set up because it doesn't record right, as you'll see in like a failed recording, which I saved just to show that it doesn't record right. And I recorded it, and I was like, oh god, it's it's recorded, finally. And I've put it on Camtasia, which is now what I'm watching this video in while I'm commentating. I'm like, where's my sound? And then I re did another test recording, and the sound doesn't actually record, because when Camtasia opens, it records what's on screen in that window. And because there's like no window option for Big Rigs, it'll only rec like Big Rigs goes full screen. But if Big Rigs is full screen, it won't record the desktop window and Big Rigs like it does with things like Fares and Isaac. It'll record just the Big Rigs window, and um, that means that there's no sound. So uh, yeah, that's that's kind of how that happens. And. Now I will know, but now I know in the future when we record all of the other episodes, because we're going to do a full Let's Play on it, and I'll explain why in a moment, but when I do all of the other episodes, I will now remember to be like, okay, we've got to do all of the other episodes, so now what we've got to do is we've got to open Big Rig, start recording, start Audacity recording, and then paste our audio from Audacity into Camtasia, so that we can actually get our first reactions, because obviously... I was talking here about um, other things that were going on, like don't go off the edge of the level because bad things happen, and I couldn't. I did have a second fail recording where I was like, "Oh, let's just follow that pipe, go onto the, go off the edge of the level," because we can just drive back on. But once you go off the edge of the level, you kind of go off the edge of the level for good, and it's really hard to get back on. And I was like, "Oh God, it, it, I'm stuck. I'm going to have to record a second time." So that's why I didn't go off the level, and this like could be some kind of oil pipe that was unfinished, and that's why all the ground that I'm driving on is black. But yeah, so to get my first reactions, to be like, oh my god, th this is happening, and this is all of the amazing stuff I'm going to have to record in Audacity. Obviously, I've done it once, so even if I like set it up and recorded it a second time to make myself seem sincere, it 
wouldn't be because I've already done it once and I kind of wanted to do it on the spot because that's how the story of the legendary Shinobi Warrior that became a ghost truck is kind of done on the spot. But, you know, that's, that's, a, that's fine, that's fine because this episode was not about the legend of the Shinobi Warrior. There are five tracks... There are five tracks telling the five parts of the ghost truck's life. We've got the intro, which is what we're doing now. And then we've got in the second race of the five tracks. So in the second of the five races, we will learn about how he was a legendary shinobi warrior of the wind and thunder. A great Raikage that died. And then after he died in our third race, we'll talk about his life as an actual regular truck. And then in the fourth race, we'll talk about his life as a, as a ghost truck and what he did as a ghost truck. So, and then in the fifth race, it'll just be like the future. This is what this is what the the world has in store for the ghost truck after his amazing epic tale. So that's that's how that's going to work, and that's that's all good. So, now we're five minutes in, this is what I also said. We're going to have five minutes exploring the level, as we did when we went to those um, floating oil pipes. And after we've had about five minutes exploring the level, as not to make these videos too long, after we've had five minutes of exploring the level, we will go back onto the road, and we'll actually do the race legit. Like, it is a big world, or a, a semi-big world, it did take a while to get around and we could do more exploring which I'm going to do but I also have to hit the checkpoints along the way after five minutes so for five minutes we can go off the road go everywhere wherever we like but then like we'll stay on the road and just go through the checkpoints because the ultra nav system does work and I figured out how it works like we missed checkpoint number two which you'll see at the end of the video because I have to go around the track and find number two where it's like we can uh, we can go and I was just like here I was talking about how he wants to he wants to look at the moon because oh god that screeching is so loud that's getting turned down I also put some music on it I will say by this point in the episode it's already been playing for a while now but I've just thought to myself in post that I'll also find like some music possibly the motorbikes levels from Crash Bandicoot put that on in the background give you something nice to listen to and tone down the the screeching and stuff of the ghost truck. But yeah, we were just talking about how he wanted to go have a look at the moon, because Princess Luna come to him after he died, and he's like, she's like, dude, you're going to be resurrected as a ghost truck, and he's like, oh, I can't take this anymore, the stress, the, the, I can't take all the stress, and I'm, I'm shaking, I'm so bad, I've died as a shinobi, I've died as a truck, no more Princess Luna, it's like, okay, it's okay, it's okay, I will make this beautiful night just for you. This night is going to look perfect. And honestly, I will say the night does look really nice. Like, out of all of the shit that's being rendered, like these trees we're coming up to, the night looks really nice. I'll say the night looks the nice thing, but that's just because I'm kissing Luna's ass, quite literally, sometimes. Because I, lo I love Moonbutt. I love that Moonbutt. But anyway, she was like, I'm going to make you this beautiful starry night. And this beautiful starry night that's so gorgeous and perfect with a perfect full moon. It'll help you relax, Ghost Truck. It'll help you get over your performance issues. It'll help you relax and calm down. And then you, everybody will be all nice and calm to talk about your amazing legend, your epic tale and journeys that you went on across the countless years, across all of your incarnations. And he was like, oh, oh thank you so much, Princess Luna. I, I love you so much, Luna. I can't, I'm so happy that you made this, this night just to, just to help me. And she's like, you're welcome. Now take that glowing orange glow off layer one. It should be behind the mountain until this checkpoint appears. I can't do that, Princess Luna. That's fine, Ghost Truck. We forgive you. We forgive you. But don't, don't let it happen because you might fulfill the same fate as that helicopter we just passed through. So that's, that's what's going to happen. This intro was just me saying that I have to record it differently and Camtasia needs to like synergize with Audacity to make this work properly now. And in the next four videos, the next four races, 
we will talk about all of Ghost Truck's lives and how he actually became the great, amazing Ghost Truck that you see before you. And we haven't even talked about his reverse feature yet, but that doesn't matter. That's for episode two. So I was here, I was like, okay, I need to end the episode. But as you can see, we are actually missing one Ultra Nav. We did miss the second checkpoint. So Ultra Nav, even though it appears broken, does work. You missed the second checkpoint, so we do have to go find it, and then we make a loop round and come back for it. So here I was like, uh, let me just start up again, please. There we go. We started up again, or my past me has started up again. And I was like, okay, and um, this is the end of the video, because there's the finish line. So thank you all for watching. And I was like, oh, wait, it didn't work, because we did miss the second checkpoint. And it is actually the second checkpoint along the road. So the Ultra Nav, even though it appears broken, does indeed work. And it does tell you which checkpoints you've missed. So as you can see, that was the first checkpoint. We missed it. Here comes the second checkpoint, because we went off to explore that oil rig. And we drove through it, and then we got it. And now it's like, okay, well now that we've hit all the checkpoints, we just have to drive across this hill, loop back around to the finish line, and then we're done, it's all good, and that'll be the end. So, Ultra Nav does work. So, as, as I just said, we are looping back around to the end in the video, because I've done this before, I did this like 10 minutes ago. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Big Rigs. If you're enjoying, if you're enjoying this video, leave a like for Ghost Truck, leave a like for that beautiful man there who's had such a hard life, which you're going to hear about soon. And if you're enjoying this content and you want to know more about the story and you don't want to miss any part of this story, feel free to subscribe for Ghost Truck and hear his legend. And of course, to all of you watching, you're winner. See you in the next one.